It is time for QT Marshall's Certificate of Accomplishment for Hook. <laughs> this is just like this. Okay. Is, this only happens in pro wrestling. All right. So, so uh, you know, Hook was one of QT's students. Okay, and of course, he he has been running through QT's students, including uh, the teacher QT. He killed him, mm-hmm. and so QT was killed by Hook. And then QT comes out to announce the next week he will be giving Young Hook a certificate of accomplishment. Award, which is redundant. So they announced this, and I'm thinking, okay, it's a trap. Hook's going to come out. They're going to do something, try to beat him down. Hook will probably beat him all up, you know, because he's Hook. But, you know, it's a trap, as Admiral Akbar would say. So what happened, everybody, is QT comes out with Aaron Solo. And he announces that he has an award, a certificate of accomplishment, mm-hmm. because Hook was able to beat him at the pay-per-view. So it, he hooks music. He comes down to the ring. And uh, he's just standing there with his hoodie on. And QT announces, I've got this thing for you right here. And he pulls open a thing, and there's a certificate. Certificate of accomplishment. And he goes, this is for you, Hook. And Aaron Solo gets and he's holding it up for the people to see. Or no, QT's holding it up for the people to see. Yes. And mm-hmm. then Hook just grabs Aaron Solo and he puts his head through the glass frame of the certificate. Yes. Everybody cheers. <laughs> and Hook leaves. Yep. So, there was no plan. <laughs> right? As far as I can tell. QT. QT thought Hook would Sincerely. Yes. <laughs> sincerely thought. Yes. I was beaten by this man at the pay-per-view. Mm-hmm. He deserves a certificate of accomplishment. It's awesome. He went to FedEx office. He designed it on that fucking computer that's like from 1988. Mm-hmm. You ever you ever gone to that place? You mean Kinko's? That's now learned Kinko's. Bro, it hasn't been Kinko's in 30 fucking years. It may have been Kinko's in 1988. <laughs> Okay, so this whatever. FedEx office, you walk in there, and they've got all these computers that you can rent, you know, because you don't have a computer at your house, and you slide your fucking credit card in, and then this you're gonna you're gonna pay for how much time you get on the computer. Uh-huh. So they have a, a fucking computer from like a, I, swear, I swear to God, it's like there's no way. It's, I said 1988, but there's no way this computer is from the 21st century. It's impossible. This fucking thing is so goddamn slow, and you're trying to log in with. Your, you know, AOL grandstand or whatever. And so, you know, by the time you're done making your certificate, you've rung up like a $300 bill. But anyway, he went there and he did that. And he had to print it out in color, which is $1.49 a copy. Mm-hmm. And then he went and he, he had to go to another fucking store because they don't sell certificate holders at, at uh, FedEx office last I checked. Sure. He had to go to the store, find the right size, put the fucking thing in the frame... Then he had to find some nice, fancy shit to put it in. And then, of course, he came out and he gave it to Hook. That's what happened. Yeah. And then this little shit threw the guy's head through it. Yes. Mm-hmm. God, I'd be pissed. QT now, now, thought now, that po- Hook would... Possibly Aaron Solo was supposed to, you know, do something to Hook, but Hook beat him to the punch. It's possible. I, we'll never know. Whatever their fucking plan was, it was a shitty plan. It came right. off because... <laughs> because QT was holding it out there firmly. Clearly yeah. he was expecting his own student to be thrown through it or he would have let go, right? So he thought, I thought, I think he thought he was doing a gentlemanly, kind, gracious thing by presenting Hook with a certificate of accomplishment. Well, it was. And he thought Hook would show equal humility and grace by accepting this award and it would be a moving moment and maybe we would be friends again. Hmm. Yes, this could only ever possibly happen in pro wrestling. <laughs> and that's why pro wrestling is great. Rob Bartlett is the man. He tried the best he can. Vince on the new What Rob Bartlett's going to do to you. Vinny, be happy Torben and Bartlett in a three-way. Oh. 
Here comes the commentator, Rob, but uh, he's a great imitator of Vince McMahon. Rob, you're the love of my life. Come back to Monday Night Raw and be my wife. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. Is this Rob Bartlett? Guilty as ch- Hey! Oh, look who's here on the show, everybody! There's a star here. Rob, hey, Rob Bartlett is joining us here today. How you doing, Rob? I don't know what to say about this. To actually be proposed to in song was a beautiful thing. <laughs> I couldn't really do much of an impression of him other than the, the tone of the voice, you know? <laughs> You still got it. <laughs> you still got it. I think I had the wrong guy. Well, what, what did you learn about the the Rob Bartlett that you you uh, you checked out? He was an explorer way back when. That's not him. <laughs> oh, I don't know. He was born August fifteenth, eighteen seventy five. And uh, died and he, April 28, 1946. He died in, okay, but you thought he might be on the show this week. Well, I couldn't figure out why you guys picked him. You're going to go to the Brian and Vinnie Matt Cleary Memorial Hall of Awesome. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Hey. Aye. Well, there he goes. Very aye. prestigious. You get nothing. You've warmed the cockles of my heart. I have warm cockles now. And um, Lucky fella. I'm... Uh, I'm I'm moist. I'll just say that. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm moist. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.